in this recording we are going to talk about the overtime wages so in the last one what is it that we have done we have talked about the backward bending supply curve now we are talking about the overtime wages that is if you have worked for these many hours now if you work for little more hours than these many hours then you will be given a higher wage there is a difference in the earlier case what is it that we have seen supposedly if you are getting the wage rate let's say 10 dollars per hour earlier and then your wage rate increased to 20 dollars per hour that is one thing so for all the hours your wages have increased now what we are saying is little different what we are saying is this if you work for the first 8 hours then for each hour you're going to get 10 dollars per hour but if you work for more than 8 hours then for each hour worked for more than 8 hours you'll be getting 20 dollars per hour so only for the overtime work you're going to work higher you're going to sorry you, you'll be getting the higher wage right okay now we'll consider a case of the worker who has chosen to supply a certain amount of labor let's say here mm -hmm, this particular point and uh, this is the this is the initial uh, uh, budget line the endowment point is c bar r bar r is leisure c is consumption and uh, at this wage rate which is shown by this budget line his uh, his equilibrium is at let's say point e1 right when the wage rate is w or whatever it is uh, so and you can also just draw this da, da, da. Hmm. so at this particular point r star is the amount of the leisure which you will have so how much labor you are supplying l or l star which is r bar minus r star i hope uh, I have told you that day itself that your leisure is increasing in this direction and work is increasing in this direction. Your labor is increasing in this direction. So if you're having more leisure, it means you're working less. If you are having less leisure, it means you're working more. So we are considering the person who has chosen to supply this much amount of labor, L star, which is which is given at the r star amount of leisure fair enough and the wage rate is w initially the wage rate is w now suppose the firm is offering a higher wage w dash right for extra time the firm says we'll be giving you a higher wage for extra time For extra time so and this is called the overtime wage this is called the overtime wage. okay so it means what it means that the slope of the of the budget line which is going to be beyond l star amount of labor this is going to be steeper that's what we're trying to say so the slope of the budget line slope of the budget line will be steeper for labor supplied in excess of l star in excess of l star overtime wages are like this for example the overtime wage is going to be like this da, da, da. Um, so this is what the overtime budget line is. that is after l star amount of hours you'll be getting a higher wage not for all the wages if this would have been for all the wages then the budget line would have looked like this passing through the endowment point like this 
हाँ बेटा दिस इज हायर बजट लाइन दिस वन दिस गाय इज द हायर बजट लाइन विद ट्रेड वेज इंक्रीज दैट इज फॉर ऑल द आवर्स नंबर ऑफ आवर्स यू वर्किंग यू वेजेस आर इंक्रीजिंग दिस गाय इज द ओवर टाइम increase in the wage this guy is the over time increase in the wage uh, over time increase in wage right so when for all the hours if the wages would have increased it may have an ambiguous effect you have seen i mean you can work more you can work less whatsoever it depends uh, you can get an ambiguous result there so labor supply can increase it can decrease also supposedly you might also have a labor supply here at this wage let's say let's see so you are you are actually let's this is a uh, what should i say e2 this is when wages have increased for all the hours straight away increase so it is from 10 dollars to 20 dollars per hour but this guy here wages have only increased after 8 hours that is after l star r so at r star i mean the amount of the hours you working is l star If you have for R star amount of leisure, the amount of the hours you're working is L star. So only after you have worked for L star hours, you're getting a higher wage. This doesn't have an ambiguous effect. It has an unambiguous effect. It is a pure substitution effect. In this case, I mean, in in the case of a straight increase in the wages, what can happen is basically that. Labor supply can increase or it can decrease also, but not in this case. So how do you write this? Uh, so it has an ambiguous effect. This guy has an ambiguous effect. Uh, so labor supply. may increase or decrease so it can increase also it can decrease also right fair enough what about this for the overtime wage no 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 i mean this is not just uh, uh, this doesn't have an ambiguous effect it has an unambiguous effect that it, it is a pure substitution effect this guy is the pure substitution effect beta at even you're working for l star amount of hours at e3 what is happening you're working for more hours right your leisure is falling while your labor is increasing your leisure is falling while your labor is increasing right? it is essentially a pure substitution effect right so when you talk about the straight wage increase that is for all the hours so it is from 10 dollars to 20 dollars per hour so earlier you were getting 10 dollars per hour now you're getting 20 dollars per hour huh? that's a straight increase in wages this involves beta both substitution effect and income effect and income effect right so substitution effect for the ledger is is simple what is the what is wage telling you wage is the price of ledger so substitution effect says what if the price of the good has increased you demand less of that so here in this case price of ledger has increased you demand less of that that is what substitution effect is but sometimes income effect can override the substitution effect and it can give you the amb amb ambiguous results this happens in case of the straight increase in wages but in case of the overtime increase in wages what will you do will you work here i mean 
this this just just look at this wage bit just look at this budget line uh, you can consume anywhere from e1 to any point on this if you consume at e1 i mean what is the point of the overtime wage we'll be working here 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 wherever you want to work the point is that you will be working more uh, so you'll, if you'll be working more for sure this is just a pure substitution effect and uh, you would be uh, your your labor supply would be increasing in this particular case right so this is what i wanted to do in this recording meta thank you